This is the uh, charger in question, so I can actually run it from here and actually keep the uh, Fire 7 tablet charged nicely. So internal changes since the last video, as you can probably see first off, a couple of wood braces there. So they're to stop the cells moving about and give the box extra rigidity. And they've actually worked really well, just having two in there. Uh, I did have to be careful with the uh, screws when I put them in because I needed to make sure they went in the pieces of wood straight because if they'd gone off they might have pierced the front cells here and obviously you, you don't want to do that even though these cells are generally considered safer you still don't want to pierce them and uh, they're only sort of thin aluminium cases so uh, they've worked really well to keep this whole box sort of more rigid and uh, better when I'm moving it about. And uh, the other obviously notable change here as well is the uh, charger on the front. So we've got USB, let's keep that out of the way, USB-C uh, PD on the top and we've got a quick charge version 3 USB port on the bottom. And as you can see we've got the uh, voltage of the pack there because I connected that up directly to the uh, terminals here. So I can also see how much power is being drawn when I'm just using this on its own through the shunt. And uh, you can probably see it down there. I'll give it a bit of clearance so that it didn't touch or get too close to the BMS. So other, other internal changes. I've just used some epoxy uh, boards, if you like. For the top, I've left it in loose for a reason. So that if any of these ever do pop, there's still room for them to move about. And there's obviously the uh, Bluetooth dongle for the app. So that's internal changes covered off. So the reason I got this charger in the first place, along with being able to charge other things, USB and USB-C off of this particular battery directly, uh, it was also to make sure I could keep this charged up, this little Fire 7 tablet here, which acts as you can see as my sort of shunt uh, monitor. So that it gives me an idea of how much is uh, it left in the battery and general charging parameters as you would expect with the uh, Victron shunt. So uh, the other thing is I put this down here is so that it actually was close enough to here so I could just connect a cable and I found a cable. I'm just going to hook that up now. So there you have it. I found one of almost the perfect size. So this fits perfectly into the USB port here. I run straight up and plug straight into the top of the uh, tablet. So uh, that was a, a bit of a win there. I wasn't expecting to find one the exact right size, if you like, and the right sort of configuration. But that worked perfectly and it also keeps the uh, cover open as well so I can actually get a better view of the overall pack voltage. But then that can keep that running for as long as there's obviously power in the battery itself which I found really handy. So that was a big tick in the box for setting that up. So in order to keep this modular 24 volt set up as flexible as possible I use this EA Sun uh, solar inverter here. And there's currently a video being suggested in the top corner if you want to have a look more at this particular inverter. But I wanted to do it so that it was really as portable as it could be and actually be used with other batteries as well. Not just the 5 kilowatt hour one that I've um, shown in the uh, shopping cart. But I, I set this little stand up here, just made out of plywood really. Because the advantage this uh, EA Sun inverter has over the MPP equivalent, the 24 volt equivalent, is this unit's actually much lighter. So when I was constructing this little stand base here, I didn't need to put any additional support in and there was enough, if you like, strength in the setup that I used. And I've just put screws along the base, four screws in there to actually just connect both pieces of plywood together. And it's actually got enough strength there just to keep it standing upright. So that was a real plus for that. So that's the reason I used this particular one. And obviously I'll show you uh, where I've connected the cables up, which is as you would expect. And I kept the battery cables long so that it was a bit flexible in not just using it with the shopping cart battery, but other batteries. So I'll show you another uh, battery setup that I'm going to do as part of this. But that was the reason for setting this up. So I'm going to show you how I've set it up to attach to the uh, shopping cart battery. So in order to give it just that little bit of extra stability when it's connected to the shopping cart battery, I added these little cable tidies on the back and I just screwed them into the uh, back of the plywood as you can see there. And these are just little Velcro cable tidies. So I've put those on the back there so that when the handle's actually up and I've set it down to where I want to use it, I can literally just uh, connect it up there and uh, put the cable tidies round. So it just gives that little bit extra stability. 
So I'm just going to do that now and uh, show you the result. So there you have it. These little cable tidies uh, velcroed up now and uh, keeps it nice and square which works really well and just stops it from any random knocks. Sorted. All connected up, strapped on now, ready to use. So um, this is the way I've connected up the uh, battery cables on the terminals just for this setup here. But again, I've got plenty of cable on here if I wanted to run it round the side and up. But just for neatness, I'm just putting it on top at the moment. I've already connected the, uh, or put the cover back on the negative terminal. So all these uh, covers do is just literally sit over there just to protect the uh, terminal there, obviously from any outside influences and again you can have them up down round whatever way you want them also uh, used uh, this little resistor here as well so that when I connected up the final connection which was uh, the positive it doesn't matter which one just so that the internal capacitors don't make too much of a spark and damage the terminals or the uh, uh, wire effectively or the uh, terminal connector there so that's done on that uh, we've got 95% in there, that's still connected up, and we've got 26.5 on the battery itself. And it's a bit better view now of how the cables are connected up. So here we've got the uh, mains or the grid connection cable there, so I can just plug that into a normal socket. And this particular inverter can charge at 24 volts up to 60 amps, so that's very handy when I'm using free power on Octopus's Agile tariff. So I can basically use this as a dump battery and completely charge it up for free or being paid to charge it up depending on how much renewable energy is on the grid. And here is the little surge protector strip there, which um, I means you know, that's the actual up to three kilowatts can go through uh, that little uh, extension cable there, which again is connected straight into the bottom there with the uh, battery cables going straight into the bottom of the inverter and here are the uh, MC4 connectors there I've got a little red there to indicate that that's the um, positive input there from solar panels so that is the modular setup done and complete and ready to use one other outstanding item I've got to do on this as well is figure out where I'm going to put a 250 amp fuse on this shopping cart battery that's the only thing that I've got left to do because I'm not using a circuit breaker on this purely because it will just add too much to it so I'm going to find a way of putting internally a 250 amp mega fuse uh, like I'm going to show you on the next battery setup. Time to show you it powered up as well almost forgot to do that so let's switch it on. Let's see. You can hear the fans kicked in now. There we have it, it's giving out 230 volts and we've got the little light on the surge protection extension cable. So that is all set up and running. So here's another example of how I can use this 24 volt modular setup and the flexibility that it gives. And I've got two uh, 12 volt EEL, that's EEL batteries here. And these are 280 amp hours a piece and they're just connected in series. So the 12 volt here, positive is going to negative. So that gives you uh, 24 volts overall because they're connected in series. And obviously the little stand as well on top sits nicely on here. And I can basically run this off of these two 12 volt batteries. Uh, if you want to see how these are built, uh, video is being suggested in the top corner right now. I'm also now building these for customers as well. So if you're in the south of England or you're okay to collect these, because I don't really want to put these via the couriers, um, please let me know. Uh, the email is uh, in the YouTube description if you want uh, any of these or want to find out more. These are now under £600 and they're using the new EVE version 3 cells. So each of these boxes here, once they've been fully assembled, have been pulling over 300 amp hours even though they're sold as 280 amp hour boxes. So if you're interested in those, so let's just switch this on and show you it firing up. You hear the whirring away. And there we have it, 230 volts. I think the little light's on there. Yep, the little light's on there. And both of these are switched on again. These come with fuses built in if you watch the video on how I built this. So you don't need to add external fuses uh, when you're connecting these two together because they're already inbuilt. 
and they come with Bluetooth as well. So you've got uh, these switches on the front to turn on the turn them on and off, and also connect to the Bluetooth app. But uh, these have been very good in testing so far, and like I say, they're pulling over 300 amp hours from the 280 uh, version three Eve cells. So that's uh, that set up. Uh, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just pop them in the section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Dad Vinci.